welcome back to the channel on this video i'm going to be riding the ride one up cafe cruiser as you see it right there and yes i've been riding this bike a lot lately and on this video i thought i would take it for a quick ride here and just show you what it's like to throttle only because i haven't really done a video on just throttling i did a video though where i unlocked it because when you get this bike it is the uh, throttle only goes to 20 miles per hour but you can unlock it to go up to about 28 miles per hour so i did that and if you're interested in looking at how i did that i will leave a link for the video in the description and you can go check that video out and then i did a video after that on trying out the throttle with um, unlocked at full uh, throttle to see what I could get uh, speed wise and I think I got right at 28 or a little bit over maybe it was the only thing about this video now is I do this throttle only ride is that I only have the 50% battery I didn't charge the battery up so we're down about 50%, so we're not going to get maybe quite as fast as you would get otherwise. But you know, for riding around here, like for example in the residential area, where the speed limits are, depending on what part of the area you're at, between 20 and 25 miles per hour. So absolutely perfect for an electric bike because that's what most electric bikes are gonna cruise around at 20 to uh, 25 miles per hour. And so, and this bike fits right in perfectly. Uh, and I am absolutely loving this bike. I like this bike even more than I thought I would. And you can probably tell by how many times I've ridden it lately. It's just a fun bike. And like I say, uh, normally I'm pedaling it though, but on this video, just for the purposes of throttle only, to do one, I'm throttling only. It's a pretty quiet uh, motor too, the Bafang 750 watt motor, hub motor. And the wind is kicking up here pretty good here today so i uh, am riding right now right into the wind stop sign right there so yeah this bike is a class three electric bike the ride one up cafe cruiser i can't say enough about the bike if you are looking to get yourself a electric bike and you don't want to break the bank or anything check out the ride one up cafe cruiser it's a nice bike As you can see, it's got a little get up and go here. I like using the throttle, especially for going through intersections. Get you through there quickly. And the other thing about the throttle that's nice is that it's hard to get the bike started for pedaling unless you're in a lower uh, gear if you're in a lower gear it might be a little easier but even so you're not going to get going very fast and intersections especially busy ones you want to get through their ASAP and this bike certainly has the uh, throttle that um, 
has a little uh, giddy up to it so it gets you going pretty good and so I like to use it for that and also for just um, when you're going to pedal to start from a stop it's not easy to pedal these bikes unless you're again in a lower gear and I like to leave mine I don't want to shift all the time maybe I'm in the minority there but I like to uh, just leave it in, in uh, I love uh, number 8 gear 8 this has 8 speeds and I like it in, in speed 8 and I like the uh, pedal assist to be in level 3 that's my favorite uh, for a nice steady around 17 18 miles per hour or maybe even as high as 20 somewhere in that range anyway get it and there goes our friendly policeman I don't have a mirror on the bike right now, so I can't see if he's coming after us. I don't think he would be at 16 miles per hour, but... The wind, I can certainly feel that as I'm riding into it. And there goes... Yeah, that's pretty cool golf cart that's remote controlled he was just running behind his golf cart besides that wind which is a little bit excessive but not bad the temperature here today where I'm at on this video as I recorded around 3 p.m. is 70 degrees so absolutely nice perfect temperature for riding an electric bike this is probably my favorite time of year when we get a day like this this is perfect 70 degrees I think in the 70 to 75 is probably where I'd want it to uh, he yeah, had anything more than that starts to get warm and anything below that can be a little bit on the cool side so let's go a little fuller throttle here getting around the corner I'll slow down a bit going around here and let's see the battery's really going down I'm down to two bars so uh, we're definitely down to the last third of the battery but you can see right there, I didn't get it all the way up, but I got it to close to 26 miles per hour, it looked like there. I didn't look down right away quick enough, but it looks like something like that. I should have had it charged up fully so I could get a little bit better showing with the throttle but here we go I'm at full throttle right now it's picking up speed we're going up a little bit of a hill and we're into that wind again not enough room to get it fully going there but it definitely has some get up and go but if you're just interested in throttling or from time to time you just want to throttle the bike will certainly get you up there at 25 28 miles per hour depending on how big a guy you are I'm or girl I'm uh, about 180 pounds at the moment and it takes me around with no problemo All right, that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And thank you for supporting us. 
If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to comment on this video or any other video that you've seen, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And like I say, if you want to watch the video that uh, I, uh, how I unlocked the bike um, to get the uh, 28 mile per hour uh, speed on the throttle, I will leave that link in the description. And once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road.